All right, guys, it's time for the mid-season finale of season nine of The Walking Dead. I'm nervous. I don't know what to expect. I don't know if this is when the fair episode happens. I think that this is the episode where we come face-to-face -face with the whispers. Um, I heard that they're not good people, <laughs> so I don't know what to expect. I'm guessing there's going to be a death because I feel like there's always a major death in the finales. So I'm scared. I pl please don't be anybody that we're really close with. Our people have been through enough. Leave them alone. I'm nervous. I don't know. Uh, I Yeah, I'm just really excited. And I'm excited to see some of our new group. I'm really interested in their storylines. I'm interested in Judith's storyline, Michonne's. I'm interested to find out what these scars are about, the exes. Um, yeah, I, I that's all I'm going to say because I'm just excited. I just want to watch this. So let's get into this, guys. Let's go. Here we go. I can never tell which ones are the real walkers or if they're the whisperers. I doubt they'd wear like the teeth though, so they're probably it's about just like. I don't know. And 40 of them. You ever see him do this before? No. Or can they walk amongst never. the other walkers, like the real ones? Just back right Since through. they're wearing their skin and stuff. Just let it wash over you. I mean, at least he doesn't have to like sit so, in the darkness yeah, anymore. Screwed. You don't feel like you're getting any benefit to our sessions? Well, I am reminded that another week has passed, but other than that... I don't know if anything would give me comfort I if I was in that position. Personally, Gabe, I know I'm never getting out of here. But a life needs to have meaning. The funny thing right? about this window here, people stand How can his life have meaning? He doesn't have talk. anything it's or like anyone. Remember, I'm here. Now, who said she was talking about you? Oh! <laughs> I'll try and see you next week. He's like, uh, He's actually, world, second thought, you want to tell me? No. <laughs> Wait. It's Michonne. Damn, has it really been that long since they've, like, been in contact? Can they please just explain what happened? Be patient. They're good people looking for a home. I told them Hilltop would consider taking them in. I wonder if Hilltop's gonna like deny them and then they're gonna go back to Alexandria. <clears throat> <laughs> and of course Magna's like, God damn it, this again. Just <laughs> Aaron's here? No, he's with Jesus and Daryl. Daryl came down from his mountain with Carol and Henry. It's like the old gangs back together. Uh. If they're Which so they like can, can pick up their dry with each other. I hate it. Daryl, probably on their way back already. I don't like this. I hate seeing the group not get along like this. It's good we're here. Aww. No, what? Why'd she go back in? What happened? Please do a flashback. Show us what happened. I didn't expect to see you here. Same. Who are your friends? What's We're that about? Friends. Yeah. I'm Magna. This is Yomiko and Connie. <laughs> We're not friends yet. Oh, look at Carol. She's so precious. Sorry, that's all I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to meet you, too. We really need this fair. If Alexandria could just send a delegation. I'm sorry. I am. I didn't want to turn you down, you of all people. But we've had our troubles too. You know that. I know what you went through. But kingdom is kingdom. Hilltop is here, and Alexandria is there. And in between, there's a whole lot of broken world, and we cannot pretend otherwise. What we've happened? We've got to take care of our own now. It's just the way it is. But it never used to be. It's a shame. <sighs> it is. It used to be. Everybody together, not to just you. your own. Everyone worked together and was together. No, I hate this. It's not only is Rick not in the show anymore, but there's the ones that are in the show aren't together anymore. I think you'd be a damn good leader if you just stopped fighting it. You think that's what I'm I doing? I agree. You didn't have to do that. What a good, good thing. Care. It's all right. No, they got a haircut. I wouldn't be leaving if I didn't trust him. We'll be back for the fair, okay? 
He better. This better not be foreshadowing. I'm gonna make you proud. Carol better not lose another kid. I feel like they might find out now because some of them might not follow the noise. No matter how big it is, as long as it's going the other way, come on. There she goes. The love of his life. Huh? After dinner. I thought you might like to come over and spend the evening with Tammy and me. Oh, I was going to uh. see if Enid wanted to. <gasps> oh. Um, yeah. I mean, yeah, sure. Oh, That's shit. <laughs> oh, you, uh, poor Henry. Something that was actually in my ass goes right up your nose. Shut That's up. disgusting. I sent her out and she got hurt. The messenger doesn't know what happened or how bad it is. And I can't go to you help You didn't her. send her out. It's not your fault. Because I have to be she here with you. She volunteered to. Bad enough I've got to clean up your shit. I shouldn't have to listen to it, too. <laughs> I wouldn't be completely against, like, a Negan redemption arc. Not to the point where, like, he's just a great guy all of a sudden, but just to the point where we can kind of trust him in the group. At least you get to go someplace new. Have you ever been to Oceanside? They're really all women? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah. I should become a fisherman. <laughs> <laughs> You're telling me you've never snuck out of Kingdom? Dude, come on. Look, whatever's got you down, it's not These worth it. These people better not get him right? killed. You just gotta keep moving forward. You. Life's too short. He deserves to be a big kid, though. As long yeah. as he's being yeah, safe. Yeah, okay, let's do it. I knew people would still be angry, but it doesn't make it any easier. No. No, but it's not to me. So was Alexandria at fault for whatever happened? Offenses. No, it's not. But I won't. Not the way they want me to. I didn't make the choices I made because I thought they'd be easy. What choices? They're so vague. You're at Hilltop. Oh, is she going to tell them? How long have I been here? Hey, just a little over a day, but you gotta take it easy now. No, Eugene, he's still out there. We know. No, we have to help him. I know where he is. I'm gonna take you to him. Lucy, to stop. Okay, whatever's going on, they can handle it. No, they can't. Explain. Oh my God, tell them. She knows. Do they have like a another long range walkie talkie or something to get in contact with them? I'm guessing not. Are you in there? It sounded pretty oh, solid when he kicked it. Oh! Oh, he's under there. Okay, I thought he was just in the hay. Oh, Eugene! We have to get away before it comes back. Just this pop it in! Stop part. talking and pop it in. They were whispering to each other. Oh, that gave me goosebumps. You mean they were talking? <laughs> I know how it sounds. Or Rosita heard it too, so corroborate. Yeah, get I hope they... Him. Are they, like, immediately just gonna think... No, shut up! Are they just gonna immediately think that they're talking zombies, or are they gonna catch on to the fact that they're not zombies? To see you do better. Aww. Hey, She's a little bit more age-appropriate than he did. Henry. <laughs> I better do something creepy, like in Fear the Walking Dead. Oh, of course. <laughs> of course, it's something stupid. <laughs> Come on, Huckleberry. <laughs> she doesn't seem interested. Step right up and try your luck. Henry, just kill it, dude. I'm sorry. Okay. I was gonna say you're drunk. This is not the time hey, to be asshole. jumping in a pit. What'd you do that for? No, they're not gonna help him out. Oh yeah, see, I knew that was gonna happen. God damn it! Now he's stuck in there and he's drunk. <laughs> Carol's gonna be pissed. It's not any crazier than the dead being alive in the first place. They can learn to talk. No. Maybe they can learn strategy and how to hunt. They're right on our asses. We gotta get those horses fast. God, I hope it doesn't take too long for them to find out that they're not even zombies. The numbers actually work for us. We can split up. You two get him back to the horses. I'll wait for the Don't herd to get here, then I'll draw him off in the other direction. Uh, and then I'll ditch him and meet you back at the hilltop. I wonder if he's gonna get out soon. Like escape or 
get let out. I don't know. Uh oh. God damn it. <gasps> it's open. No way. No way is it that easy. No way is it that easy for him to just get out. Please tell me this show's trolling us and he's gonna push it and it's gonna still be locked. It was that easy. Isn't it isn't it double locked though? Like the other door is locked too? I wonder if he's gonna go back in though. Like get, get his ball and go back in. No, he's too he's not good enough, good enough person to do that. Son of a bitch! Dara said the guards found you outside the gate shouting to be let back in. You want to tell me how you wound up out there? No, sir, I do not. What do you think? <laughs> He's not going. Well, who gave you the booze? My parents are, are counting on me. No, I expect better, Henry. He's what still a kid, in? though. You guys didn't have to grow up in this world. The minimum sentence for drunken disorderly is two days. When Jesus gets back, I'll talk to him and see what I can do. <laughs> He's going to be in there for two days. Thank you, Mr. Sun. Damn. You better get some sleep. You're gonna have a lot of work to catch up on. So I'm guessing the fair does not happen in this episode. So maybe it's the finale of the season instead of the mid-season. God, I, I want them to catch on that it's humans in Walker attire because as long as they think that it's just walkers, they're gonna underestimate them. Damn, imagine having that much time on your hands that you just pretend to be a zombie and just walk around trying to hurt people. Dog, keep them calm. Especially with how slow they have to travel. Move into every sound so that they fit in. See, the herd might be evolving, but they don't go the other way. Hopefully he figures that out. Come on! Go! So that might be a Is that one the real herd then? Since they. No. I don't know. Because if it was a fake herd, why would they fall over like that? Just to sell it? Or I don't know. Just literally toss him and throw his ass over there. Come on, put your hands on his butt and push him over. How do they have the teeth? Oh my god, I thought that was one of the whispers that did that. I was like, holy shit, it's happening. Oh. God. Okay, so these look like real- Ooh, no, they're talking now. I can't make out what they're saying. Everyone needs to just body slam that shit. Earning our keep. Yes! Yes! Earning their keep. They better bring them back to Alexandria. Come on, come on. God, I love them. What are you doing? No, oh, dude! Walk through the door and close it behind you. Come on. Or was it not open yet? Oh my god, he's so cool. He's so cool. <gasps> no! 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 No, what the f- no. What the f was no? Please save him. I think he's pretty dead though. No. That scared the shit out of me. No. Dude. Seriously. Oh my god, they literally sew it on them. Take it off, and they're gonna see it's a human. No, dude! They just killed Jesus! What psychos, dude? Bunch of psychos. See, but why don't they fight back when they were about to die? That's what I don't understand. Oh no, they're more coming! They killed Jesus! Oh my god! What happened? Maybe that would have happened anyway. But now we know there's a new enemy. You die. 
And Negan's out. <laughs> Probably. You're more like us than them. You don't belong with these people. This fair could be our last chance. What does it mean for Alexandria to survive if the kingdom falls? It means Alexandria survives. <laughs> no! You stupid bitch! Oh my god. Oh my god. All right, guys, that was the mid-season finale of The Walking Dead. <sighs> Another incredible episode, and I'm sad. I, Jesus was like one of those characters that I really felt like was going to be around for a long time. And I thought, you know, like when that happened, that maybe, I don't know, maybe there, he, he didn't fatally stab him. Maybe they'd save him, but no. And then I remembered... That this is a mid-season finale and people die and i just thought you know maybe they'd give us a break since we just lost rip grimes but apparently not this episode was so good they finally know that these talking walking zombies are not zombies at all they're humans and they find out by ripping that mask off that was sewn on and it was a human underneath i still want someone to explain the teeth thing to me how come some of them had like the, the zombie teeth but then when they took the mask off, it didn't, the mouth wasn't, I don't know. I'm confused. I don't know what to say. <laughs> uh, but it does look like the next half of the season, we are going to get the answer to what happened because it looked like there was a flashback of Michonne with her old hair. So maybe we're going to find out what happened. I love, love, love that Magna and some of the others came with them to go rescue Eugene and Jesus and Aaron. Oh, I was really hoping that maybe Aaron and Jesus were gonna get together, but like now Maggie's not there at Hilltop. Jesus isn't at Hilltop. Like, dude. So I guess Tara's gonna run Hilltop now. But I, I don't know. I just like wanted to at least one of them. I don't want Jesus to be dead. Oh, I'm sad. But this was such a great episode, and we see more Henry, which I think, I think it's gonna be like Judith and Henry taking over like Carl's storyline from the comics, like split up. Um, so I'm excited to see that and I like that Henry's making some friends, but they're not the best influence And that scene just reminded me of the fear of the walking dead scene where Alicia like goes down and they like Have that walker head and it, it's just weird creepy. Oh my god. I'm sad I don't understand why Jesus didn't run through the gate like I know he only he only saw there was like two of them left and he didn't think one of them was gonna come to lie Come alive and just beat the shit out of him, but it did. Negan got out D -d 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 what? Uh, for a split second. A split, split, minuscule of a second. I was like, hey, he's gonna get that ball and he's gonna go right back in and close it behind him because he's gonna be a changed man. Yeah, fucking right. Yeah, right. Then I remembered, hell no, it's Negan. He's not gonna change. But then, like, what about the whole storyline with Judith and Negan? I thought that they were gonna develop a little bit of a relationship before that happened. But I am excited to see him out. I hope that maybe he does things a little bit differently this time, but I, my fingers aren't crossed for that one. I have no hope. I hope that after this happened with Jesus and the new new crew went along with Michonne to help, I hope that they prove themselves because that's what they were trying to do. They were trying to show that they're all in. I hope that they let them come back to Alexandria because I really would be interested in seeing them with Michonne, but um, I'm still fine with them to stay at Hilltop. That would be cool. Carol's not going to be happy when she finds out what Henry did uh, just because it was dangerous and he doesn't need to be doing that. He doesn't need to be sneaking out. She would have a heart attack. But I think he means well. It's just, he's a, he's a teenager. Oh my God. I'm so torn. And Gabriel is 100% at fault for that door not locking behind Negan. I don't know. I'm so, I just want to know. I feel like every single time they bring up like what happened between the communities they are so vague i need to know what happened i mean i don't know if if this that's a comic book storyline but if it is don't tell me i don't actually want to know but i want to find out and i'm excited to find out but i feel like this is the, the whisperer storyline is one of the most interesting storylines just because it's so like you you never know like someone that could be coming up to you could be super weak weak and able to die and 
that be it. Just stab him in the head and it's over. Or it could be someone's going to fight back and you're just going to have your guard down because you think it's a normal zombie. And that's going to be one of the craziest things to see unfold. And I think that in the um, the previews, they showed the guy who is maybe the head of the Whisperers. I don't know. I'm not there in the comics, but I saw like the news article when he was casted and that looks like the actor. So it, I think he was in a fight with Daryl. I don't... Oh my God. I... Oh. I have not been this excited for a season of The Walking Dead since, like, season six. Even then, I don't think I was this happy with the season. This was such a great episode, and it's so bittersweet because I loved this episode, and I loved the revelations of the Whisperers, and the viewers finally know, no, it's not talking zombies, it's not evolving zombies, it's humans in zombie masks. But we lost Jesus. I cannot tell you how sad I am about it, and it's... Like, I'm shocked. Like, that's why I'm not, like, freaking out crying the entire time. I'm so shocked. I I did not see that coming. I did not see that coming. And I don't know. I didn't think it was going to be one of them that died. I thought it was, like, going to be Henry or something. Ah, uh, or Rosita. Like, I thought maybe, like, they infected her or something. You know, like, what Negan was doing where he was infecting the weapons and killing people. Like, maybe she got infected. But they really killed, killed Jesus. I'm, I loved it. 10 out of 10. I feel like I'm rating all these episodes 10 out of 10, but like, really, they're just that great. I loved it. I guess I'll see you guys in February. I think that is pretty much all I have to say. I think I'm just kind of speechless right now. I'm, I'm normally feel like I talk more, but I'm just kind of speechless. But I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. I will see you guys in February when The Walking Dead returns. Thanks for watching.